Hello, I'm Alessandro Furia, a medical student, and I'd like to present uh, this evening a project which I followed at the Instituto Italiano di Tecnologia in Genova, uh, a small project where I was trained in uh, this technique, microelectrode array electrophysiology, and I'd like to give a general overview on this very useful uh, system. So, multi-electrodes or microelectrode arrays are instruments which employ uh, multiple electrodes instead of, for example, uh, compared to techniques such as patch clamping where uh, fewer electrodes are used, uh, which allow us to uh, measure extracellular recording of electrophysiological parameters or stimuli. So any cell with uh, uh, electrical activity such as cardiomyocytes or of course neurons can be measured uh, with these devices. Uh, actually, they've found a very uh, wide range of applications, starting from their origin in more than 50 years ago as, transdu as transducers for cardiac pacemakers. Uh, MEAS can be both used in vivo and in vitro, both to record and transmit signals. So, for example, a very interesting application is also a spinal cord uh, machine or brain machine interfaces. Um, speaking from, um, from an engineering point of view, the first MEAs were uh, rather hard, are made of metals in organic semiconductors or sometimes hybrids, even though there is a problem uh, with uh, the biological interactions, because these might, for example, lead to cytotoxicity, cytotoxic effect, uh, inflammation, which is um, which, which might also impair the whole experiment. And recently, it has been shown that um, uh, chips, devices, MEA devices uh, made of flexible polymers not only are uh, easier to produce uh, also for scientists which can produce them in their own lab but are also less toxic um, so there are several several novel materials such as PDOT, PSS uh, or GPDMS so this is structure um, of course this is a microscope uh, this is a microscope view uh, this shows the uh, the picture above shows a classical arrangement of 16 electrodes uh, that are uh, disposed at uh, 30 micrometers, uh, that's, uh, whose, my, uh, whose diameter is 30 micrometers and their distance is, the distance between uh, electrodes is 200 micrometers. Uh, even though the classical shape is a square, uh, several MEA chips can follow uh, different geometries such as hexagons, uh, um, or even uh, not perfect squares, such as in the image on the right below. Okay, so my project consisted of a mere measurement of a primary and neuronal culture uh, activity. Um, uh, after preparing uh, the MIA chips uh, and coating them with laminin and polylysin to allow the neurons to attach and uh, of course uh, preparing it with sterile water and sterilizing it. Uh, we pr um, they proceeded to prepare the cells uh, which were cultured from a cortex in my case, or, but also uh, in the lab also hippocampal cells were used or from embryonic rats. Uh, then they were, uh, these cells were cultured on the chip by using a so-called uh, complete neurobasal medium, which is a neurobasal uh, with the addition of, uh, for example, uh, glutamax, uh, which is alanylglutamine, or penicillin streptomycin uh, to avoid uh, infection of the culture. And about 70 per uh, 10 to the uh, times 10 to the third cells were cultured on each ship. Then, unfortunately, uh, I couldn't get uh, the final data because it took, it takes quite some time for cells to form a uh, to form a neuronal, a proper neuronal network, but uh, I still used, I was still practice in uh, MCRAC uh, analysis, uh, which is a program for multi-channel system, which is a, a German, uh, which is from Germany and produces MEA chips. Um, MCRAC allows both for data recording, acquisition, and statistical analysis. For example, you can see on the images on the right, uh, 
this, uh, the image above shows raw data and the image below shows peak detection uh, in order to f uh, deal with noise. Okay, so just to finish, there are many applications of MEA. Uh, a very interesting, interesting application is also light stimulation of acute in vitro retinal wall mounts because the, um, uh, the wall electrical activity of the retina can be followed. And on a lighter note, MEA has also been used in art to uh, discuss the relationship between science and humanities, but um, everything is art, as they say. So um, I'd like to thank you for your attention, and uh, uh, I'd like to thank both uh, Dr. Elisabetta Colombo and Professor Fabio Benfenati who followed me on, on this project. So thank you. Thank you.